I'm Jillian Hadfield. I'm a professor in the law school and at the uh, Rotman School of Management at, here at University of Toronto. And I'm an affiliate at uh, the Vector Institute and a senior policy advisor at OpenAI. The work that I'm doing is trying to integrate I do work on the social science of what I call human normative systems. So how do our systems of norms, our systems of law, our systems of regulation, how do they work? And really thinking about them as systems. And my interest in the relationship between that study and the study of artificial intelligence is how are we going to build AI systems that can integrate into our normative systems. So that's building robots and algorithms and other AI systems that follow the rules that humans have created, follow the norms that humans have created, uh, can understand that. And that's a really challenging problem. And it's a problem that requires integrating our social science of human normativity with our design of AI systems. So I'm trying to work on that interface and integrate the work uh, the social scientists and AI researchers are doing. When I made the decision about whether I was going to come back from California, where I've been for the last 30 out of 35 years, uh, to Toronto, Vector was uh, right at the very top of what attracted me back. Uh, and the reason is not just that it's a terrific place where there's lots of AI research happening, but it was really an opportunity, uh, an organization integrated into the rest of the university to uh, start to work with AI researchers. Uh, so the, the real attraction for me of Vector was the capacity to, to work with those AI researchers on these questions and maybe to try and get in uh, on the ground floor to, um, I mean, I'm on a mission to uh, help shape the agenda for what the research is that we need to do to make sure that AI is beneficial to humans, safe, follows the rules, does what we want it to do. I think that's a really, really important research agenda and I have ideas about how we should be doing that, and it was, seemed like a great opportunity to get in on the ground floor with that. So the future I see for AI, and as it relates to the kind of work that I'm interested in, the integration of AI into our human normative systems, our legal systems, our regulatory systems, our normative culture, um, I think the challenge there is that we don't have very good models right now about how our culture, norms, legal systems work and develop and how they look in all kinds of different settings. How do we build those? Um, so I think that one of the hurdles we face is that we don't have enough social science research integrated into uh, the agenda at this point. So that's really why I'm excited about trying to help build that agenda. I think we have um, a lot of people in AI researchers who understand, in AI research, who understand that we're going to need to figure out how to make sure the robots follow the rules, uh, make sure the algorithms uh, are fair and justifiable and uh, uh, transparent. There's a lot of anxiety about increasing the extent to which we are delegating decision making uh, to AI systems. And I think there's a current thought, well, we can figure out just a set of rules that will apply, and we'll write them down, and we'll go to our legislatures and our regulators, and we'll create those systems. But my work for the uh, past 10 or 15 years has been, quite apart from AI, the challenges that our existing legal systems face dealing with complex, high innovation, global technologies and AI just ramps those considerations up. So I think the hurdles are, can we figure out fast enough how we need to fundamentally change the way we approach the problem of making sure that our technology is doing what we want it to do, that it's safe and beneficial for us all. Mm -hmm.